What's up, guys? Abstract Tiger Productions here. I'm Chris. I'm Drew. And we are back with another episode of Masters of the Universe Revelation. Last time on Masters of the Universe Revelations, that is a mouthful. Um, uh, because we can't call we, it He Man yeah, anymore. No, <laughs> we can't. Let, let's see here. Hold on. Motor, Motu R, Motor, <laughs> Motor, Motor. <laughs> Welcome to Motor, y'all. <laughs> Last time on Motor, <laughs> we had um, a promotion ceremony that got cut really, really short. Mm -hmm. um, Tila. Yep. Um, this is this is me remembering what happened last time, um, uh, and going off my notes? Question mark. <laughs> um, so yeah, Tila, um, she gets promoted to the new man of arms, the old man of arms, um, whose real name apparently is Duncan, uh, was, uh, getting ready to retire and in the trope, one last mission, mm -hmm. but instead he doesn't die. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> we had Skeletor basically bring his entire force from Snake Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Snake Mountain. Yep, Snake Mountain. Okay. Um, and just kind of attack Castle Grayskull. He pulled some um, shape shifting shenanigans mm -hmm. to trick the um, uh, the, uh, the 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 sorceress mm -hmm. lady at uh, the guardian or the uh, the Sources of uh, Grey Skull, which mm -hmm. apparently is not Grey Skull. Nope. It was a facade that was uh, put over it of something called the Hall of Wisdom. The Hall of Wisdom, yes. Which apparently some old council, a council of elders, mm -hmm. just kind of stashed away in the heart of Eternia, just kind of in Skeletor's word, greedily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, we had a fight ensue. He man showed up, and basically uh, stabbed Skeletor. Mm -hmm. Basically, Skeletor baited him into stabbing him in a certain spot, mm -hmm. which unlocked the heart. Yep, and which also allowed him to break the orb. And caused an explosion that was supposed to destroy the entire universe. Um, but um, there was like the uh, hit the pause button type of yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sorceress basically, when asked, could the sort of power contain this? She's like, yeah, but you are going to have to hold on to it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, okay. And at that point, Tila kind of was like, wait, what? there was a mention of us in this form. Mm -hmm. And Tila's like, wait, wait, what do you mean by that? What, what, what do you mean by the form? Yep. Um, and she discovered through this whole thing that Prince Adam mm -hmm. and He-Man are one and the same. Yes. Um, so basically, He-Man does the whole by the power of Grayskull thing during the explosion and the power sword splits into two. Yep. Which, by the way, I did look up. She-Ra's sword was called the Sword of Protection. Okay. And it was a clone of the Sword of Power, which was He-Man's. Clone, okay. Um, uh, I just remember the red jewel. That's the Yes, only and thing that I was one of the difference. And the jewel was there, so it... <clears throat> because she was on like a station on a different planet. Oh, okay. She could draw power from Gray School through the gym. Like oh, okay. Gym. So it's like a little antenna type thing. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Wireless antenna for the power <laughs> of Gray School. <laughs> Tesla. That's um, like 500G. <laughs> okay. Anyways. But is it 1.21 gigawatts? No, I'm just kidding. Um, Probably a lot more than easy. that. Too yes. easy. Um, anyways, 
he reverts back. He man reverts back to his well, Prince Adam form. Cringer reverts back to well, Battle Cat reverts back to Cringer. Tila is just dumbfounded. Mm-hmm. Then there's an explosion. Yep. He man slash Prince Adam and Skeletor are gone, nowhere to be seen. Yep. Presumed dead by the inhabitants. Uh, Evil Lynn basically takes what's left of Skeletor's broken staff and then just disappears. Mm-hmm. Um, probably going back to Snake Mountain. Um, then it jumps to Duncan telling the king that He Man succumbed, was his word. Yes. Yeah, well, that's the that's the PG way of saying dead <laughs> or died yeah. or something, but because um, that's what everybody thinks. And then, then things really took a turn mm-hmm. because when King Randor was just basically kind of you know in, in a heroic way eulogizing He Man. His wife, Marlena. Yep. Not just dropped the bomb right then and there saying, we didn't lose just He-Man, we lost our son. Yep. And we snapped. Yep. Basically banished Duncan Mm -hmm. and said, if you return, I will kill you. Mm -hmm. Turned to Tila and said, hey, escort this thing out of here. And then another switch happened. Mm-hmm. Tila's like, no. And her anger mm-hmm. really came out, and she dressed down everyone in the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, the mother, her adopted father, mm-hmm. everybody. Um, basically calling everybody liars. Um, everything that she believed was a lie. Mm-hmm. And he, she, in on my rewatch, when I edited uh, the video, uh, the last episode video, she called Adam a liar, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, Absolutely. she's just she just angry at everybody right now. Yeah, because they grew up together. They've known yeah. each other since essentially, essentially, like, right after diaper era, like toddlers. <laughs> and, and the entire time... I mean, even Adam would say that Tila was the best friend. Yeah. And the entire time, nothing. Nothing. And, yeah. And basically, Tila just dropped everything. Said, I am done with the kingdom. I'm done Mm -hmm. with protecting the people. I'm done with magic. I'm done with everything. Mm -hmm. Peace, I'm out. And then left. Yep, throwing her sword and tiara. On yeah, the, uh, ground. Ground, leaving everybody pretty much stunned. Yeah, because now there's another person that probably didn't even want the job that has to be the new man at arms, or woman uh, at arms. Or yeah, or it could be the person who's like, if Tila wasn't there, it would be me. You know, one of those type of people. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, there are those people, but you know, um. So, good recap. So, yeah, that was a very interesting... And it was a... I don't know. I, even after watching it again when I was doing the edit, it was just like... I mean, it was... I, I said it in the reaction last week. You know, it was bold of her to just tell mm-hmm. the king no. Because that's something you just do not do. Right. <laughs> when the king tells you to do something, you typically do it. But... Obviously, Tila's not feeling it that day. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, where do we go from now, I guess, is the big question. Um, yeah, yeah, we, pick up with Tila. Uh, you, you predicted that there was going to be some kind of a time jump. Possibly. Uh, um, that's always a thing that could happen. Or we go into an alternate dimension and see what Skeletor and Adam well, are up yeah. to now that Skeletor knows. Yeah, who Skeletor Adam is. knows. He's just like, it's just so does a Evil boy. Lynn. And he knows, and he's holding the both of them in his hand. He's just like, ah. yeah. I think he was more upset 
at the fact that he was just a, a boy. Yeah. Rather than just like what. A child uh, has been defeating yes. me all these years. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then Evil Lynn knows as well, and Evil Lynn technically got away. Sort of. I uh, there's gonna be some kind of a power struggle. We assume. Maybe. Uh, um, over who's gonna take over Snake Mountain. But the only way to know is to, to watch the, the episode. episode. Yeah. Um. So, lettuce, lettuce, tomato, bacon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Beat me by like two seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. Poison Chalice. Okay, we actually have a. Uh... Hello. Who are you? And who are you looking for? What are you looking for? Beep beep. <gasps> Oh, hello. I found it. Oh, the skunk man. I recognize him from the toys. Yeah. Ah. Okay, who is that? I bet you that's probably Tila. Stink or okay. Yep, told you, Tila. Oh, okay. My old life. My old life. Nice haircut. So there is a bit of a time skip of some sort. Sorry but... about the mess. Magical relics are at a premium because magic has abandoned Eternia. You don't ah. need to, magic to protect your glove. You just need better tech. I tracked it with this, and this wasn't conjured by some wizard. It was hand built by an engineer. This engineer. This is Andra. I'm the brains. She's the Vohan. <laughs> you helped the temple reclaim all the stolen. Do the same for me. That's totally so evil, Lynn. Most likely. A bit of a challenge. Secure the artifact I seek, and I'll pay you triple this amount. Fine. I wonder if Evil Lynn and Skeletor had a thing. Snake Mountain. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Snake Mountain? Oh, you got a deal. What? Are you insane? No, I'm experienced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but we're still alive. <laughs> be careful at Snake Mountain, girls. It can be such an evil place. When you're done having fun, let's finish this. Flashback. It would be rude Apparently not to share. sensor we touch it boom dismantle it power down breathe on it Impressive. <laughs> that wasn't between us and a major payout you can't deny it's got panache <gasps> snake mountain has but one weakness so start digging <laughs> what the fact that it's a mountain yeah i guess so it made it dirt <laughs> diggable dirt Okay. <laughs> this has become more less of like mythical He-Man. And... Oh, C cyborg. So does that mean that Triclops is the one that took over? I don't know. Because he was the tech guy. Motherboard. Is forever strong, forever merciful. Oh, jeez! So drink from the cup and save yourself and your family from carnal chaos. Um, He's making him drink nano bots or nano probes. One yeah. More enters the light. And so that's sort of glory be yeah. unto um, we who live and diode in the mighty mother. 
motherboard. Glory be unto me. It's a religion. He turned it into a religion. Partake of the black Kool Aid. Yeah. Now, the question is, is can your body handle it? Oh! In the name of robotics, automation, and the Holy Sprocket. <laughs> holy Sprocket. The true power in Eternia has Ooh. always been man's mastery. Technology. Sounds like you've got more than a few screws loose. Happy to knock them back into place. You got a few upgrades? Yeah. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna get you out of. Oh. Jeez. That was unexpected. Frightening as I'll get out, yeah. No. Oops. That seems like a very... Irresponsible? Well, poor place to put a self-destruct <laughs> mechanism so Tila became Batman of course Deliver the goblet, and I'll pay you twice again with Grey Skull. Grey uh, Skull? Uh, My grandfather told me stories about that place. Tell me, Captain, have you never wondered what he left behind? I'm done wondering. I did find what I was looking for to save Mountain. A reminder of why we failed. But what were we ever fighting for? Stories? Lies? I prefer something more tangible. We won't find that in Grey Skull. Wait. You don't have to do this. I go if you go. The king decreed the castle a forbidden zone. I thought there was supposed to be a big skull. We're breaking the law just by being here. I wonder what Last the time, time frame this is. Then. Was the day Adam died? Well, that's not a guise, and that's actually evil wind's age. Because all the magic has been taken out. Oh, well, there's the uh... sources. Oh my gosh. So they can't hide their age anymore. Nope. Uh oh. Well. You're hurting her. What the? Cringer? Cringer? I'm sorry, Tila, but we don't have time for any more fighting. I don't okay. believe your lies. Why would you ever help the sorceress? Because I asked her to. To save the last ember of true magic left in Eternia. Magic gave birth to Eternia. The first planet in all of creation. The nexus of all space and time. And the sword of I think power the time that binds have that magic to, to Eternia. Say, but know, now that the sad, sword's but... gone, <laughs> yeah, magic definitely. Is dead. And without magic, Eternia Maybe will your universe and die like the rest of the multiverse. <laughs> and as goes Eternia. So goes the entire universe. So you must find the two halves and use the ember to reforge the sword of power. Am I crazy or are they sending us to heaven and hell? You people never change. Hmm? I built a life of truth away from magic. And now you want me to save magic? Yes, Tila. I am done with all of this. 
take this crumbling castle to the dead and let Ooh. all their selfish secrets die with them. You're scared. You're scared because you're just now realizing that Adam trusted you with all of this and you're scared that you're going to let him down. It turns out I barely knew Adam. You knew who he really was. Well, so did you. He was really your best friend. I may have known Adam's big secret, sure. But Tila, you knew his heart. So ask yourself, what would Adam want you to do? WWAD, <laughs> what would Adam do? <laughs> I need that shirt. I wasn't eavesdropping, but for the record, totally with the green cat on this one. <laughs> you want to go to Subternia, do you? The land of the dead? Race you to hell. I know of only one weapons master on the entire planet with the skills to reforge the sword of power. Oh! Her papa? Great papa? Duncan. Duncan. All right. Yeah. Wow. I, I agree with you. I want to know how much time has passed. Yeah. Because and based on the way he, the um, civilization has adapted, it mm -hmm. seems to have been a significant amount of time. Yeah, it, it almost um, reads like, and we can't use Tila obviously as a indicator. No, but it reminds me of the time jump, really bad time jump. Between Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. About 70 Be years? Yeah. I don't know if it's that far, but it is significant. It is more than just a couple of weeks <laughs> or a couple of months. I think it's probably at least two years or something. Five, maybe? Yeah. The reason why I say that is because um, Andra. Yes. She said that line about, my grandfather told me about the Battle of Grayskull. And I'm sitting here like, that's a long time for two generations. Well, but Tila doesn't look that much older. That's true. So I don't I, know what's her secret. <laughs> it has been, I think, at least ten years. Mm -hmm. Because um, Tila has thoroughly thrown herself away from mm -hmm. all of this and just... I, I, I did I call it she became a mercenary yeah <laughs> not a bounty hunter but a mercenary but still I don't even know if you would say mercenary uh, I, um, I got more of a uh, soldier uh, for hire I mean which that's a mercenary to a certain degree but I mean I wouldn't say I was thinking more like Indy Nathan Drake that eh, Tomb Raider okay. type thing yeah, because maybe. Because it seems like um, her job is not bounty hunter, but like bounty hunter for things, not people. Right, right. Whatever that word is that's escaping me. I don't know either. Um, archaeologist. Asset recovery, <laughs> specialist. Asset recovery specialist. Okay, there we go. Diggable dirt. Diggable dirt, yes. <laughs> literally wrote it. I mean, hey, I'm not wrong. <laughs> um, All hail the mighty motherboard. Yeah, and Triclops. Holy sprocket. Yeah, he turned his <laughs> technology into a cult. a cult following. And, dude, the little girl, that was like. I'm, I'm going to have that nightmares. That was creepy. I'm going to have nightmares. That was like poltergeist level of. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. um, or Exorcist. Exorcist, yeah. yeah. And I, they, I know exactly. It, that is, if I'm not mistaken. Kevin Smith's favorite movie, so the fact that he threw that in there, he did that on purpose. I know he did. Mm. But goodness, I don't do well with that, that kind of stuff. That and it freaked creepy, me out. angry the grin. grin. Oh. It's like, ah. It was like she had to have been what eight, nine years old? Yeah. And she willingly drank that stuff just like her, I guess, dad. Yeah. And and Oh my goodness. That was... Ugh. Seeing Trapjaw work for Triclops was really weird to me, though. Because it's Based always been... Like, one... like I was saying, it was a power struggle. Uh, apparently, it wasn't much of a struggle since Triclops just basically 
owns the place. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like he... Uh, just talked everybody into drinking the black Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't and, drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, well... Oh. That, that gave me... Well, you haven't seen it that I'm aware of. I mean, I don't know how much anime you've seen in your time. I don't know if you've seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I have not. Okay. I've not seen That's either a, one of the alchemists. Fantastic. The Brotherhood is fantastic. Um, uh, but there is a scene that rem- that it, uh, to this that scene whenever he the, the guy drank that stuff. Mm-hmm. It, it just reminded me. It was like. Ooh, and that's why I said, can your body handle it or will it die? Oh. Yeah, it, it just kind of reminded me of that. Um, but apparently, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. just going to assimilate you. It's like Eternia's version of the Borg. <laughs> it's basically... That's actually a really good way to put it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he turned Snake Mountain into basically a Borg cube. Yes. So. Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting, wow. accurate way to put it. Yeah. Um, except, Evelyn. except as a cult rather than just a, you know, cybernetic um, race looking for perfection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Evelyn apparently has, uh, to a certain degree, aligned herself with the um, sorceress. Sorceress, mm-hmm. and did the opposite, I guess, of what everybody thought she gave magic to the sorcerers as opposed to try to take it away and uh and then still ended up getting to strengthen it. Yeah, well yeah because she was in you know basically told the stakes of what would happen yeah. if things went sideways and lost it um the entire universe just turns to dust <laughs> like oh wow that's no pressure huh <laughs> see I was um, thinking that the whole um gimmick that they were going to go for was this is your opportunity to get Adam back and that was what they were going to say but when they were like he wouldn't have sacrificed himself which yeah cringer hitting hard with the drama yeah which is the complete opposite of what you speculated it was the reverse Tila hit got hit hard with that and she still apparently still harbored some uh, negative feelings toward what yeah. you know and until cringer basically talked her out of it um but yeah apparently now they have a mission her and and an andra andra uh to collect both halves of the sort of power yep and then put them back together yep and restore all the magic that was lost mm-hmm so does that mean that they're going to have to consult the Council of Elders or is Sorcerers... I don't think the Council of Elder, Elders is going to come into the play. I think they're just going to be on their own. They're going to go to the two places, uh, Subaternia and the other place. Paternia. Patern- yeah. Um, with basically them and whatever mm-hmm. wits they have about them. Right. Um, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Um to see the uh, progression of that. And one thing I did notice, we had that little flashback scene Yep. with um, He-Man, a.k.a. Adam, and her at who knows when in the past, mm-hmm. but yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, you know, seeing that friendship and I don't know if she realized it, Tilly realized it or not, but she's doing a lot of the same things that he did mm-hmm. with her. And, yeah. Um, I thought that was an interesting parallel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So. The, exactly. The When they use the same move together. Yeah. But it didn't have the same effect because Andre doesn't have the... Weight <laughs> or the... Uh, superhuman abilities. Yeah. Well... She didn't have He Man actually throwing her into somebody <laughs> to the kick. She just had Tila. Not that Tila's any weak or anything. It's just not not as strong as what He Man right. was in his prime, or whatever. 
Did he really have a prime, or is he just always at prime? He's always at prime. Okay. So he's Unless kind of he's like Adam. Shazam in that in a sense. That's actually the best Could've. way to put it. Um, Except is... when he says his name, he doesn't change back randomly. <laughs> No, but that's that's the yeah. two parallels that a right, lot of people right. like to make. Yeah, um, is between uh, He Man and, and Shazam. Shazam, yep. Zachary Levi did a fantastic job as a, a you know, adult Billy in that movie. That was fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, anyways, I'm very much looking forward to the second. Yeah. One. Well, which technically the second one is going to be the Black Adam movie. Sort of. So I was talking about Shazam too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, Fury of the Gods. Y- yes. Which I know nothing about, but I will probably watch whenever it comes out. So yay, moving I can on. In on information. No, <laughs> um, I don't really have much else, but I, I am know. going to question. Okay. What is the meaning going to be like between estranged father and daughter? Um, I, I mean. The way I don't know, I mean, she just probably just gave general information. I mean, Nana, you know, Duncan is probably going to be the one to do it, but I don't foresee them have really any conversations with each other much between the time that she left and at this point. And anything that I think he would have attempted, she just blew off. Yeah, that's the feeling that I got from this from her attitude as it were yeah i see what you're saying um him being banished and they showed it uh, he looked very hermitish yes um i think that there's going to be an initial rebuff to the request of help and then she's going to be like the sorceress sent me uh so she's gonna pull working. that card and it's just basically, yeah, somebody above us basically tasks us to do this, so whether we want to do it or not, come along kind of thing. I think that because of his tactical awareness, he's going to know that they're approaching before they even get close enough, and he's going to see Evil Lynn first, and there's going to be like a mini battle, like a mini battle, and then they're going to be like, wait, no. She's yeah. with us, and he'll be like, "Okay, now I'm confused." No, well, that's what I see yeah. happening. Because Evil Lynn working with Tila, and he doesn't know Andra, and no, but it's 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 going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. They have done a really good job with this. And those um, of you in the comments and at home watching this or wherever you may be, we are watching know, them one yeah, week at a time. Yes, please, 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 please. You comment comment on the episodes that are you know the episode that you're that is on, like this is episode two. Please mm-hmm. comment only on episode two or previous ones. Yes. None of the f- subsequent ones. Yeah, they only um, dropped five. You yeah. said right? Yeah. Yes. They only dropped five. We're and, but we're watching them in weekly order. Yeah. Um. So, I guess I don't really have much else. Um. Mm-mm. Yep. Good. Okay. So I guess until next time, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you do not miss any of the episodes. Um, also check out our Patreon down there. Um, if you would like to, um, it would really help us out. Um, also, um, I don't. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna just kill it right here. Um, <laughs> bye bye and be blessed.